In this video, I'm going to give you a little bit of homework to do, and you'll need a pen and paper and time by yourself to do this exercise. Sometimes it can be a bit emotional. You're going to write a part of a letter to the person who hurt you the most. You are the only one who's going to see this letter, so it's very safe and just between you and that pen and paper. And in this letter to the person who hurt you the most, in your first paragraph, you're going to say, this is what you did to me. And you're going to list out different things you felt that they did to you. My example was my mother. She's the person who hurt me the most in my life, or I believed hurt me the most in my life. And my letter went, you, this is what you did to me. You physically abused me. You used me as your punching bag as often as you wanted to. You criticized me constantly. You called me every name in the book. You said I was the daughter of Satan. You said I should have smothered at birth. You embarrassed me constantly in front of my friends, and so on. In the second paragraph, you're going to write, this is how I felt at the time. And for me, at those different moments when she said or did the different things to me, I felt unloved and unlovable. I felt rejected. I felt alone and lonely and depressed and disheartened and invisible and much more. I kept it short and to the point, and this is the invitation for you to do the same here. And this actually can be a very powerful and emotional exercise to do, and there's a bit more to this letter, but for now we're just going to look at those first two paragraphs. And once you finish this, and again, this letter is only for your eyes, once you finish it, there's a natural tendency to reflect on it, which is good, and maybe over the next few days as well, you'll be able to see how those different emotions that you identified in the second paragraph have been showing up in your life since way back when. And don't get into overanalyzing it, just notice and just let it go for now. In the next couple of videos, I will give real life examples of clients that I've worked with who we've done the same exercise and we've isolated a few of those beliefs and we've asked some questions against them to see if they're even true. So for me, feeling unlovable was a common thread throughout my life in different relationships that I had, friendships I had, intimate relationships that I had, and I was always looking for love in the wrong places and going about it the wrong way. And in that exercise, I was able to see that very clearly, how it had been showing up in my life. And then as I learned to question the validity of it, I found it was not true and it had never been true. And in that learning of that, the only thing that was left was the truth, which is I am lovable and I've always been lovable. It was simply a very strong belief I had been carrying around with myself. So I will walk you through in the next videos how you two can begin to do that in your own life. And I hope this video gets you off to at least that start in identifying those underlying, crippling, debilitating beliefs that have been showstoppers throughout our life, that have prevented us from having that happy and joy-filled and loving and lovely kind of life that we've always imagined. And this includes our business life, whether you're a solopreneur, entrepreneur, or you're working a nine-to-five kind of job. Our lack of advancement, so to speak, in getting to where we feel we should be or want to be is determined by those underlying beliefs. And as we clear those up, then too our outward world responds to that. Absolutely. And uh, let's see where we go from there. I look forward to seeing you in the next few videos. 
If you have any questions about this exercise, please feel free to drop a question in the comment section and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks. Enjoy your day.